97%. And of course, Charlie's 100, regardless of the charging. <laughs> We're heading to the rainforest on the west coast and to Monte Cristi, apparently the birthplace of a very famous hat. Today we're going to go and uh, get some Panama hats, which are named Panama hats, but apparently we're going here in Ecuador. So they should really be called Ecuador hats or Monte Cristi hats. I think that you make Panama hats out of that, I think. Yeah, I think you do. Hello. Hello. Charlie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are they woven by hand? Yes. Sí. By yeah, hand. hand. Look, at the, look at the pattern. Amazing. I think I just assumed it was done like with a machine or something. I never imagined it would be done by hand like this. How long does it take it to, to make one hat like this? It can be anywhere up to a month. Month. No. Yes, a month. And the process just to get this material. So this plant over here is where it comes from, these palms. Yeah. yeah. They have to boil it and then dry it and then they have to shred it. And so the, and the finer the shred, the finer the hat. So you get sort of wide, like where you can really see the weaving. And then there's ones like this. Look at this. Look how fine that is. That's like silk almost, that one. Isn't that amazing? The only question left is what shape to go for. Prices can go as high as $2,000 for these amazing hats. 15 days, and then this one is a month. No, I think that's for the shorter. I don't know how we can keep one on our bike. It's designed to be easily rolled up and carried around. I'm going to go for this one. Mine's only $80. Nice, huh? 